What is up guys? Man, I'm J-Dub and today we are back out here on the trap line and we're going to do another video in the Back to Basic series and we're going to do the uh, Pipe Dream set. I want to show y'all guys how I do it, how I set it up. I'm not the best at it by no means, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it and I've had success with it. So here we go. All right guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to try to find a spot. I like roads. Everything up here seems to follow these roads. So that's what we're going to do it in. We'll come off the road just a little bit just enough to be off of it all right guys so today because i'm lazy we're doing drags i like drags i've had good luck with them over the years i take my drag throw it over there and we're going to be using the sleepy creek number three long spring trap i, lo I love my long springs if y'all guys have followed my channel for any length of time you'll know long springs and me have a, a a good relationship i really like them some people don't like them but me i'm a big fan of them only problem is they do require a big hole so we'll go ahead and start marking this hole out and start getting them in here i think we're done with our freezing weather so we're not going to be antifreezing these Get all your little roots out of your way. These little roots will cause you a ton of problems later on. All right. Well, it's not bad. Now with my drags, I just come through and I bury the first little bit. Don't have to bury much just a little bit of it don't be afraid if you trap if you're afraid of it that means you don't have something set right if you're scared you're gonna get get caught something's clearly not set right on your trap now i'll come in and i'll just start packing and i'll try to keep my pan as clear as i can try to keep everything out from underneath it you don't want anything under that pan not until we're ready and y'all can see these these long spring traps of mine have a huge pan on them that is by design i stole the idea from i believe it was clint locklear i've had nothing but good luck with it There's a big root. That root's gonna cause all kinds of issues. Now, that trap's in there. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. We'll just have to cover it up. I am gonna get a pan cover, cover this top of this trap up. And then, cause we're depressed a little bit in the ground, that'll be what the rest of our covering goes over. But that's basically our trap. Now we're gonna come off. I like to go about as far as I can stretch my fingers and then over a little bit. And that pipe's in the ground. I'd rather it be a little steeper angle. Just pack it ground in there, just so the pipe doesn't go anywhere. And with the pipe dream set I've learned, your drags come in, really come in handy because it gets them out of here and away from your set. So that, that works really well for me. All right, I'm gonna get a pan cover and we'll sift this over, bait it up and that set's done. All right, guys, so I did just look at the weather and well, we, we got some uh, freezing weather that's coming in. So we are gonna go ahead and antifreeze all this just to make sure everything keeps working. Got a good spot of antifreeze. We'll cover this up. Actually, that's got a little bit of a lip on it. I'll tell you, these pan covers have really changed it for me. I'll be using them more often, next, especially next year. I had a lot of misses this year because I wasn't using pan covers after the rain. And man, it, it really bit me. So, 
so far they've been doing a lot better but go ahead start sifting some of this mud back over Big rock, get that out of here. I'm sure where that came from. All right, so we got a little bit of covering. We're starting to get kind of low on dirt. All right, and this set's done. I'll go through just lightly I take my my cover in here and I just kind of go over everything got a little spot right here where our stuff showing through but that's good yeah we're all all good now that's it's done other than being baited and lured so we'll go ahead and throw a little bait down in the hole and throw Throw some lure in there. We're gonna throw a little bit more antifreeze just in case. Cause everything is wet right now. Y'all guys wanna see how I caught this one? Stay tuned to the next video. I hope y'all guys liked that little bit of a teaser. Okay, let's get you a stick. We're gonna use a little cave and jodel dog. Stick it on there. Down in the hole you go. All the way to the bottom, nothing will ever get that out of there. And actually get another stick. I would use the same stick on a different end. And we're gonna go after some hellfire. Big old healthy glob down in the hole. Normally don't try to get it on the outside because the rain does wash it off pretty bad. And I always leave my stick on the outside. Just so if they want it, they gotta keep working for it. But I mean this set's done. There's nothing to it. Nothing will ever come, will ever worry about it. This chain, nothing will pay any attention to it. You can come through and you can cover it up a little bit. You know, just do what you need to do. Just to kind of break up that outline, that chain. My key is that I always do with my drags is I come up and if I can't set the drag, like leaning against something, then I stick it straight up in the air like that. So as I'm driving by, I can see it. I know nothing's messed with it. But here's my set. They'll come right in. Remember our pan is about here. So as they're coming in working this set, they'll get the cotton that trap. Our drag is right over there, sticking up. I've got all my drags are set on, I believe 12 foot of chain. Nice big old coat. For anybody to ask, how far do they go on the saber tooth drags? Here's your drag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 steps is the hole. All right guys, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you do like this Back to Basics series, then go ahead, leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll catch y'all guys out on the trail.